everyone, I'm Shannon Morse and I am super excited to give you a first look at this brand new gaming laptop from Razer. It's the 2018 Razer Blade with a completely redesigned look and feel. Now seeing this redesign, my first impression was, wow, it's sleek, small, and portable? I'm just gonna borrow this for a while. Okay, thanks. The new 2018 Razer Blade now sports an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 with Max-Q design with an 8th gen Intel Core i7-8750H processor. With a 15.6 inch display up from that 14 inch in previous generations, weighing in at 4.5 to 4.7 pounds. Now it features not only that new compact look, but also a larger and faster 144 hertz edge to edge display. And yeah, that bezel you see here is 4.9 millimeters thin on either side and still leaving room for a webcam up top. The matte IPS display is full HD with 100% sRGB colors and an 84% screen to body ratio, which means in game you get accurate colors on a large screen. An optional 4K touchscreen model is also available with support for 100% Adobe RGB color. All the displays are calibrated with a custom color profile, ensuring amazing accuracy right out of the box. This, plus the included 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of NVMe SSD storage, give you plenty of space to store your games, but also plenty of hardware to play those games smoothly and efficiently. Now, personally, I am always looking for a laptop that I can mod myself. And in this case, the RAM is upgradable to 32 gigs and the storage to a whopping two terabytes. So hooray for future-proofing. But how does the Razer Blade keep all of these components cool? Well, they've introduced some fancy new tech with an advanced cooling system featuring a full vapor chamber. Thinner and more efficient, the vapor chamber is integrated directly with heat exchanges, featuring 68.1 millimeter fins each and custom fans to keep your machine running cool during serious gaming sessions. Add that to a newer power management system to crank up the graphics or manually adjust the fan speed, and you're looking at some seriously efficient performance. Now, if you are worried about the battery life, don't be. With an 80 watt hour battery tucked into the body, I was easily able to keep it running for a full workday with some gaming and some video editing worked in as well. Now, of course, it would not be a Razer laptop without the Razer Chroma individually backlit keyboard or Razer Synapse 3 built in. They've continued with those front facing speakers as well, which offers solid and clear sound with Dolby Atmos support. And they've also upgraded the touchpad by removing those left and right physical buttons and replacing them with a bigger clickable glass precision touchpad. Now plenty of the ports are included like full HDMI 2.0, three USB 3.1 ports, a mini DisplayPort 1.4 and Thunderbolt 3, but they also included Bluetooth 5 and wireless AC. And with that Thunderbolt 3, you can easily plug in a Razer Core eGPU to power the laptop with an external GPU. I'm Shannon Morse. Thanks for watching.